today we are going to talk about data resource management now this is what we will learn the technical foundations how to manage data resource Bi the business value of data resource management and also lastly database management systems now data resource management data resource management is a managerial activity that applies information technology and software tools to the task of managing an organization's data resources early attempts to manage data resources used a file processing approach in which data were organized and accessible only in specialized files of data record files of data records that were designed for processing by specific business application programs traditional file processing approach proved too cumbersome costly and inflexible to supply the information needed to manage modern business processes and organize organizations problems of file processing are data redundancy lack of data integration data de data dependence lack of data integrity or standardization thus the database management approach was dev developed to solve the problems of file processing systems now database management ap approach the database management approach affects the storage and processing of data the data needed by different applications are consolidated and integrated into several common databases instead of being stored in many independent data files also the database management ap approach emphasizes updating and maintaining common databases having users application programs share the data in the database and providing a reporting and inquiry response capability so that end users can easily receive res reports and quick responses to requests for information these are the fundamental data concepts they include characters fields records files and databases A conceptual framework of several levels of data has been devised that differentiates among different groupings of elements of a data. Thus, data may be logically organized into these parts such as writing can be organized into letters, words, sentences, paragraphs and documents. Let's talk about character. The most basic logical data element is the character which consists of a single al alphabetic numeric or other symbols from a user's point of view a character is the most basic element of data that can be observed or manipulated now field the next higher level of data is the field or data item a field consists of a grouping of related characters for example the grouping of alphabetic characters in a person's name may form a name field specifically a data field represents an attribute or some entity attribute is the characteristics and entity is some object person place or events now let's talk about re records all of the fields used to describe the attributes of an entity are grouped to form a record thus a record represents a collection of attributes that describe a single instance of entity file a group of related records is a data file they are sometimes referred to as a table or a flat file lastly database a database is an integrated collection of logically related data elements 
A database consolidates records previously stored in separate files into a common pool of data elements that provides data for too many applications. Database structures The relationships among the many individual data elements stored in database are based on one of several logical data structures or models. Database softwares are designed to use a specific data structure to provide end users with quick easy access to information stored in databases. Five fundamental database structures are hierarchical, network, relational, multidimensional and object oriented. This can be an example of a relational structure. The relational model is the most widely used of the three database structures. It is used by most microcomputers as well as by the most mid-range and mainframe systems. In the relational model, all data elements within the database are viewed as being stored in the form of two-dimensional tables, sometimes referred to as relations. These are the types of databases. Firstly, operational database. Operational databases store detailed data needed to support the business processes and operations of a company. They are also called subject area databases, SADB. Examples are a customer database, human resource database, inventory database and others. Distributed databases. Many organizations replicate and distribute copies or parts of databases to network servers to network servers at a variety of sites. These these distributed databases can reside on network servers on the World Wide Web, on corporate intranets or extranets, or on other company networks. Ensuring that the data in an organization's di distributed databases are, consi are consistently and concurrently updated is, is a major challenge of distributed database management. Of distributed database management. Now external databases. Access to a wealth of information from external databases is, a, a available, is available for a fee from commercial online services and with or without charge from many sources on the world wide web. Websites provide an endless variety of hyperlinked pages of multimedia documents in hypermedia databases for you to access. Whenever you use a search engine like Google or Yahoo to look up something on the internet, you are using an you are using an external database, a very very large one. Also, if you are using Google, you are using one that averages 112 million searches per day. Lastly, hypermedia databases. A website stores search information in a hypermedia database consisting of hyperlinked pages of multimedia. These multimedia can be text, graphics, photographic images, video clips, audio segments and so on. That is, from a database management point of view, the set of interconnected multimedia pages on a website is a database of interrelated hypermedia page elements rather than interrelated data records interrelated data records now we can come to the concept of data warehouse a data warehouse stores data that have been extracted from the various operational external and other databases of an organization it is a central source of the data that have been cleaned, transformed and catalogued so that they can be used by managers and other business professionals for data mining, online analytical processing and other forms of business analysis such as market research and decision supports.
वन इम्पॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स अबाउट द डेटा इन ए डेटा वेयर हाउस इज दैट अनलाइक ए टिपिकल डेटा बेज इन विच चेंजेस कैन ऑकर कॉन्स्टेंटली डेटा इन ए डेटा वेयर हाउस आर स्टेटिक विच मीन्स दैट वंस द डेटाज आर गैदर्ड अप फॉर्मेटेड फॉर स्टोरेज एंड स्टोर्ड इन द डेटा वेयर हाउस दे विल नेवर चेंज now data mart data mart can be a part of database sorry data warehouse data mart can be a part of data warehouse data warehouse may be subdivided into data marts which hold subsets of data from the data warehouse that focus on specific aspects of company such as department or a business project project now we come to an important concept that is called data mining data mining is a major use of data warehouse and the static and the static data they contain in data mining the data in a, is a data warehouse are in data mining the data is a data warehouse are analyzed to reveal hidden patterns and trends in historical business activities data mining can discover new correlations patterns and trends in vast amount of business data data mining can discover new correlations patterns and trends in vast amounts of business data frequently several terabytes of data stored in data warehouses Data mining software uses advanced pattern recognition algorithms as well as a variety of mathematical and statistical techniques to sift through mountains of data to extract previously unknown strategic business information. For example, many companies use data mining to perform market basket analysis to identify new product bundles. finding root causes of quality or manufacturing problems preventing customer attrition and acquiring new customers cross selling to existing customers and lastly profiling customers with more accuracy database management system Database management systems are software packages that simplify the creation, use and maintenance of databases. They provide software tools so that end users, programmers and database administrators can create and modify databases. This can be also used to integrate a database, generate reports, do application developments, and perform database ma- maintenance common dbmss are microsoft access oracle mysql and microsoft sql the major functions of databases the three major functions of database management system are to create new databases and database applications to maintain the quality of the data in an organization's database and lastly to use the database of an organization to provide the information that its end users need that's the end of this lecture thank you very much